Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will make two sketches beginning with the basic frame. This is especially useful when drawing from memory or imagination. First we begin with some mood lines or action lines and then we build a very basic frame on top, like for the structure of the torso and hips. Having that, we can build the rest. The main mood line usually goes from the base of the neck to one of the extremities. It is the longest line that connects the greater number of parts, and it may give you the direction of the action. It can be drawn in different ways. There are secondary lines, and then there is the frame, which is a very simplified skeleton. If you get this frame right and if you have the mood lines in place, it is much, much easier to draw the rest. Also, it is a good practice, even if you are drawing a clothed figure, to first draw the basic anatomy and then add the clothing. The result is better in this way. I did this sketch digitally, obviously, but I treated it as a pencil drawing in the sense that I am not doing it in layers. Good, let's make another one. Again, we begin with the mood line, we show the tilt of the shoulders and hips, and then we draw the head and the torso. I also indicated an arm, then the hips and the legs. I know this is a lot of information given too quickly, but here what I want to show you is that if you draw a frame or basic skeleton, then you can complete the figure much more easily. In last week's tutorial, we went over some of the proportions of the body which help build this skeleton. By the way, I think these legs are a little bit too short if we take that standard of the crotch being at the half point of the body. So I'll redraw them just a little bit longer, like so. What I would like to know from you is what part of this whole process do you feel you need more help with? What subject would you like me to do a tutorial on more in detail? Again, we draw the basic anatomy and then we can make the clothes on top. Then we may erase most of the anatomy that is under the clothes, but not completely, because we will need to know how to render the shading on them, what the volumes are. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code, let's draw them from the skeleton. <laughs> and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, click on the little bell to get notifications of new videos, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.